go one step further. They are human beings. They have human emotions and human feelings, and they are they have the ability of being manipulated. They have ability of being um, um, conned. And I got to do one thing with an auditor if I'm trying to fool them. I got to steer them away from where the real problem is by directing them to where it's not. But I also want to be his friend. You know, I'll tell you something. I've learned something. Um, John Orr, an FBI agent, probably gave me some of the best advice I'll, I'll ever get. And he said, Barry, you get more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. Well, that might seem like the simplest statement in the world, but it's one of the most accurate statements. Because I'm going to be nice to those auditors. I had them over for dinner. I went over their houses for dinner. I wanted their wives to know me. So if they had to go against me, they had to hear their wife say, I think he's such a nice boy. I wanted to make sure if they were going to go against me, they were going to go against their own wives' opinion of me. So my important thing was to just put on a show for the wife, for both of their wives, I'm talking about the auditing partner and the managing partner, let them know that I'm just, and have me leave and have them go to bed, let's say, saying, isn't he a nice guy? Boy, you're lucky to have him as a client, okay? So I, you're ta I, I, I'm playing on the emotions too, as well as them setting up for me how I'm gonna get away with it. I'm playing on their emotions big time. And if they're gonna hurt me, I'm gonna have them hurt a friend. And I'm going to make it real painful for them. If they're going to, not only are they going to go against the auditors, I mean, Ernst and Winnie, uh, uh, Hughes, Hubbard and Reed, and Wall Street, they're going to have to go against a friend. And I went out of my way to go out to dinner with them. Be their friends. Call them and ask them how things are doing. Ask them to go to ball games or whatever. Is that bribery? No. Bribery is taking $25,000 and saying, here, you don't do that in, in, in today's world. It's just not found too often. Maybe it is, but not in big eight accounting firms. But my form of bribery, and it's just as manipulative, and it's just as evil, and it's just as bad, was to get them to love me, to like me a lot, to see a wonder kid, and to see a friend, and to see someone who, despite all of his publicity, now these accountants aren't used to having these high profile guys as clients, but what happens when the high profile guy really likes them, and talks to them about his personal problems? Oh gosh, you know, Peter, I got this problem with Joyce, and I don't know what I'm going to do, and let him think that I'm telling him everything about me, things I wouldn't tell anybody. Let him think he's got a relationship with me that surpasses all understanding. In, in the auditing situation, I created a need. Got to have the audit done. I made him like me, and I made him believe in me. And I think if you do those three things, um, you're going to con a lot of people. What's the defense against that? There is one defense against that. Keep your pride out of it. As an auditor, and keep your objectivity. You know, we wrapped up our senior law partner at Hughes, Hubbard & Reed, who was in charge of an account. I was going to build a house with him. I went out to dinner. I babysit his kids for the weekend. And I really loved his kids. And still do, and, and him too. But the motive that I had for loving those kids and for loving him was to manipulate that man, was to get him to put his stamp of approval and sign the legal opinion so that I could be on Wall Street.